I thought I'd do a quick video here where I, I uh, show and explain um, one of the mechanisms or one of the tools that I use to video um, some some of the work that I do. I know you're able to uh, purchase uh, digital micrometers and uh, tools like that that you can um, use to make um, close-up videos. But what I've chosen to do, since I'm um, videoing exclusively on a smartphone, I've just chosen to take a, an existing tool that I have and adapt it to where I can lay my smartphone down on it and have the the camera look through the lens as I have here. This uh, some of you may be rec some of you may recognize. This is just a standard uh, Bolova Micro Loop model ninety twenty. Um, they sell for about ninety or a hundred dollars. You can get them pretty pretty inexpensively, and I've had this for quite some time. Um, I like the the feature. It's not just straight up and down, but it has the features here that you can actually um, pivot it and, and allow it to peer in any direction. So I literally can set this um, up right next to my lathe, peer through it, and, and do some really fine work on my lathe. And, and then I just, with scrap lumber and kind of cobbled together um, this platform where I can lay on um, my smartphone and film through the the micro loop what I'm doing. I was just um, working on a wrist chronograph today and thought that I'd quick make this video um, just to show you how well it does. Now when you're first excuse the noise but when you first put it through um, you'll notice that Around the edges, it's dark because we're you've got a square screen, rectangular screen peering through a round hole. So that's when you can zoom in, and you can get um, really pretty close. Um, so it's it's kind of a homemade version of a digital microscope, but it allows my smartphone to be more versatile. And and allows me to use tools that I already have in my shop instead of buying more, more pieces of equipment. And um, so I just thought I'd show that. I hope it's uh, of interest to you, helpful to you, and it gives you a little bit of behind the scenes of how I'm able to to film some of the things that I'm able to film. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next time.